Hello everyone, thanks very much for coming back and joining me today. If you're new to my YouTube channel, my name is Julie. I am really excited. I am about to leave in about 20 minutes time to go and see um, the movie by James Wan, who of course did Aquaman, and it's called La Llorona. And I cannot wait. Let me know down in the comments if you'd be interested in seeing a review of that. But today, what we are going to be doing is I wanted to pick uh, six things. I know it's a bit of a weird random number, six things. But you know, I'm odd anyways, guys, so it's all good. Things that I loved about John Wick. Obviously, there is way more than six things that I loved about John Wick 3, but I've picked six things. Now, if you haven't seen the movie, John Wick th Chapter 3, Parabellum, then I probably wouldn't recommend uh, watching this video. You know, you can always come back after you've seen it. I have also done a spoiler review for this movie, so again for that one as well, if you haven't seen it, steer away from it. Don't want to be ruining anything for anybody. But if you have seen the movie, then let's just get this video started. that I really loved about this movie was at the end straight away I recognized a Japanese actor Hiroyuki Sanada and he was in a movie playing a lead uh, with Keanu Reeves in the movie 47 Ronin and I have to say that's definitely one of my favorite movies by Keanu Reeves it is unbelievable if you love this movie John Wick 3 and you love the sword fights and everything then 47 Ronin is a movie that you need to just straight away go and look into. Trust me, you will really enjoy it. It is a phenomenal. So he was fighting uh, Keanu Reeves at the end of the movie, you know, um, with the glass floors and everything in the Continental Hotel. And that was so cool for me. That was so cool. And I'm actually just going to show you um, a picture of him. Hopefully you can see it. So... Yes, that was one of the guys that he was fighting at the end of the movie with the awesome John Wick. Now, the next thing, and I have this wrote down on my phone, guys, so I don't forget anything. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is Halle Berry. Halle Berry was amazing in this movie, and she really kicked ass. And something that has made me gain even more respect for her was I had watched um, an interview of her with Keanu Reeves, and they were saying to her, you know, you had, like, injuries and everything with this movie, and she said, yes. I, this, normally I do half the work and the computer does the other half the work for other movies, but for this one, like, I had to do it all. So she must have literally did all her stunts and wow, well done woman, seriously, and God love her. She actually said that, you know, she just wanted to go all in and just keep going and, you know, that they were saying to her, you know, you know, stop, you know, take a break or whatever. She was like, no, let's go again, you know, let's go, sort of thing with the action scenes and everything. And she just passed out. She fell on the floor. She was rushed to the hospital and she had three broken ribs. Three broken ribs and she says she wears all her injuries with a badge of honour. Woman. Seriously. And she carried on. Didn't complain about it. She just carried on. And God help her. She says, like, I thought that there and then I was going to get recasted or something like that. I really hope that she's going to be in John Wick 4. That's all I'm gonna say, because like God love her, that's amazing. She did an amazing job. The way she was fighting and everything, and I've watched behind the scenes of it, and she is actually doing, you see all those scenes and everything? She's actually doing that. Absolutely phenomenal. So hats off, Halle Berry. I loved you as it was already in the movie, but when I watched that last night, you know what, girl? I have so much more respect for everything you've done in that movie. Absolutely incredible, and she was a brilliant actress in this movie. Now, this, the next thing that I liked was the choreography. I already said this in my review, it was flawless. And, you know, there was fighting scenes from start to end and the pacing was just perfect. Keanu Reeves does all his own fighting, all his own stunts, you know, all the, you know, he even said like, you know, he practices and practices all the gun scenes until it's pretty much perfect. And the amount of times he spends just practicing on those gun scenes, like he says he just goes to walls and just like randomly practices. The dude is amazing. And you know what? I, I think it's amazing watching a movie and going to yourself, wow, like that's him. Everything I see him doing, that's him. So everything you see Keanu Reeves doing, guys, that is him doing it. So um, for cinematography wise, amazing, you know, and it really did just focus on the movie and steered away from any nonsense. And visually, it was amazing. I, 
it really dove into the world of John Wick and I genuinely didn't notice any you know special effects or any you know CGI or anything like that I mean obviously there would have been you know certain things used for you know for things to look a certain way or whatever but you didn't notice it if that makes sense and you know the cinematography was just beautiful the movie was beautiful the next thing that I loved guys was the end scene because not only was it hilarious, it actually tells us that of course we're obviously clearly going to be getting a John Wick 4 film which I'm already excited as enough as it was, I was already extremely excited and hyped for Bill and Ted 3 movie coming out but you know what Kenny Reeves, you are literally spoiling me and fans, honestly other fans you really are spoiling us, like you're giving us too much we've had this and now we're going to be getting Bill and Ted 3 and now we're going to be getting John Wick 4 and I um, was watching an interview guys um, it was the same interview that I was talking about earlier with Kenny Reeves and Halle Berry and he was saying, Kenny Reeves was, was saying that yes he has um, a couple of ideas and a couple of things that he's thinking of for the John Wick movies so that to me kind of sounds like a couple of ideas maybe like two stories so I think another two would be perfect you know like a fourth one and a fifth one I think that would be more than enough I don't want it to end up like the Fast and the Furious cannot stand those films, hate them with a passion, they're awful but anyways um, I hope that it doesn't go in that direction because there is, I, I don't even know how many Fast and Furious movies is there guys, I'd be happy if there was just one more, John Wick 4 but 5 would be perfect um, but yeah it would be really cool if Halle Berry was in it because you remember they were sort of discussing and he was sort of saying like do you want to know where your daughter is in this John Wick 3 movie and she was like no and it pains me every day and I have to live with that sort of thing so I wonder maybe could the fourth one maybe be where maybe something does actually happen to her daughter and she maybe goes and seeks help from John Wick or something sort of thing since he went and seeked help from her in this movie because they already clearly knew each other you know and um, because he had said to her you know I was always there for you. Thing, the last thing is the humour and I know I've already spoke about this in my uh, spoiler review but even during high action like you had there's too many examples to go over them all like because literally the movie was hilarious from start to finish but, um, you know, you had Keanu Reeves fighting at the end and, you know, the guys are coming at him doing ninjutsu and, you know, saying, oh, it's an honour to fight with you, you know, John Wick, I really wanted to meet you and all this here. And they're just standing having a full-on conversation and it's just so random and I love that random type of humour because, you know, as all of you know, I'm as random as they're going to come, like, you know what I mean? Um, and Halle Berry, when she shot Jerome, who again, you know... I'd rather call him Braun. Let's call him Braun, guys. It sounds killer. Braun from freaking Game of Thrones. And she shot him. And John was like, no, what are you doing? And she's like, he shot my dog. <laughs> it was so funny. Absolutely hilarious. Um, but no, honestly, the humour was so on point the entire movie. And I found it so funny at the beginning. You know, the um, knife fighting scene. And he just like threw an axe right at some guy's head and so many people in the cinema were like oh of course no but you could tell like some people were like kind of really squeamish and to be honest it was really like sort of like a bit you know like oh you know if you're squeamish or sort of thing but to me that they did it in the right style that's what these type of movies are going to be like you know even like a lot of martial arts movies and stuff like that can be pretty gruesome as well but you know, it seemed to me it was done in the right tone of the movie and it was done perfectly. Love the humour. You know, you've got high action and you've got humour and they blend it perfectly together for two hours, ten minutes. What more could you freaking well ask for? We had literally everything in this movie. We, we had a horse. We had John fighting on a horse. We had sword fights. We had uh, CQC fighting. We had ninjutsu. We had humour. We had freaking everything. Absolutely everything. So yeah, that's the things that I wanted to go over, um, but I just want to lastly say um, I was so happy that the dog didn't get harmed at all. The dog didn't even get slightly harmed, nothing happened to him, no one, no one went anywhere near him. And I thought that was amazing and that's the first thing I said when the film was over there. I'm so happy that the dog didn't die. But anyways guys, you can let me know. And here is my question, this is the question of the day. Let me know in the comments below what is your five favourite things from John Wick 3 Parabellum? And also guys, that's what I really love. This movie was called John Wick th um, Chapter 3 Parabellum. And Parabellum, you know, it means war, you know, get ready for war. Or sorry, prepare for war sort of thing. And that's what they're doing. Uh, they're preparing for war. Do you know what I mean? They're going to just, you know, mess, mess things up and just go nuts 
for John Wick 4 to get their comeuppance worth. And I cannot wait. John Wick 4, Keanu Reeves, go Keanu Reeves, bring it on. We're really excited, but <laughs> I just want it to come out now. I can't wait. Anyways, guys, let me know your favourite things about this movie. And aside from that, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm going to have to rush because I have to go and see La Llorona. So I will see you all in my next video and don't forget that the force will be with you always.